Yo, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to be looking at ways to get good at Fortnite fast. If you guys want to support me, make sure you go over to the item shop, put in my code. It is spades with two Z's and it really helps me out a ton. So I really appreciate when you guys do that. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Before we get into the gameplay portion of the video, I want to talk about settings. If you don't have good settings, you aren't going to be able to play well. If you feel that you need to make any adjustments to your settings, this is the time to do so. If you want to see my settings, I am on keyboard and mouse and I'll link the video to my settings store below. So to start off the video in your everyday Fortnite routine, I always recommend going into some sort of free building map. My personal favorite is the one that I made, so if you want to check it out, here's a code. Doing this type of map is going to help you warm up and get more consistent with your building and edits. So to start off, I recommend doing just basic warm ups by free building. Practice doing things you would really do in game to the point where you can use certain skills in ranked or tournament. Another thing to focus on is if you feel like you're struggling with certain edits or builds, this is your time to practice that. Let's say that the edit you're struggling with is when you go to build a wall, you know, you have, let's say you have somebody full box in here, right? You need to make a peek on them, right? You want to do right hand peek. Let's say that that's the edit you struggle with. Just come in here. You can see that I kind of struggle with that edit too. So I just come in here and just practice that edit as much as I can. This one I'm totally fine with, but that one sometimes I struggle with. Say, you know, maybe it's this edit right there. Just whatever the edit is, just come in here and practice it. If it's a certain build, if you want to learn how to do a triple edit, that's pretty straightforward on, you know, how to actually do a triple edit. But if there's any edits or builds that you feel like you need to work on, this is the time to work on that. Next up, I recommend playing realistic 1v1s. My personal favorite is finest realistics. So here's a map code for that one. If you do want to check this specific one out. Otherwise, you can just look up speed realistics, you know, realistic 1v1s, whatever it is. These 1v1s will help you with your game sense and help have more awareness to how real players fight in ranked or sometimes tournaments. A big thing that I recommend paying attention to when you're playing realistic 1v1s is trying to catch your opponent off guard. When you do this, it confuses them and makes for an easy kill. Another big thing to focus on is making sure you're not too flashy. If you hit your shots and kill your opponent, that is infinitely better than being flashy if all that means is you're going to lose. When you're playing realistic 1v1s, this is your chance to experiment. Find ways of peace control to work for you. The more creative, the better. Here's just another example of how you can use peace control. So this is where we get to the fun part. Ranked is a place where you really get to put your skills to the test. In ranked, you'll find that most players will be a very similar skill level to you. Some people think that ranked is all about camping and laying low so you can rank up and hit Unreal as quick as possible. But in reality, this is where you'll gain the most experience and have a real chance to see what you need to work on. This is a great example of trying to catch your opponent off guard. My duo and I are fighting another duo when we notice footsteps from the back. When I edited, he did catch me off guard, but because he was so surprised, I was able to catch the game. Here's another great example of how to catch your opponent off guard. My opponent has high ground and a health advantage, and on top of that, they also have a medallion. But by taking the cone they were standing on and dropping them down, I was able to catch them off guard enough to get the kill. In this situation, my teammate goes down early in the fight, but I'm able to take one opponent down. I just got a shot across the map. This teammate's right here. He's coming, he's coming. As the surviving half of the opposing duo finish, finish my teammate, I catch guard. him off guard again to fully box him and secure the kill. Peace. Oh my. The best pros aren't scared to admit when they aren't doing good with a certain skill in Fortnite, so neither should you. Just keep that in mind while you're playing ranked. If the real reason you watch this video is so you can eventually get earnings on Fortnite, then you really need to take the few basic things that I talked to into account. Make sure you have good settings that work for you, make sure you always get warmed up, and most importantly, don't overwork yourself. If you do, that's never going to end up well. Fortnite tournaments aren't going anywhere, obviously, we have a whole bunch going on this season. So practice is eventually going to pay off, just keep going at it and you guys will get, get there eventually. Tournaments should be played very similarly to ranked. What this means is you should still be aiming to catch your opponents off guard, do as much damage as possible, as quick as possible, that way you can secure the kills. When you get a kill, that means you get more points, and obviously the more points, the better. In this situation, the opposing duo knocks my teammate, and because of this, it becomes a 1v1. Because my teammate was what? previously fighting them, I oh, know that they aren't going to be full health, so I rush yeah. as quick as possible. Because I caught them off guard, I was able to block them in and secure the kill. Nice. If you guys have any questions or concerns based on this video, please let me know. I enjoyed making this one, so if you want to see more, make sure to drop a like and hit that noti bell. Thanks for watching. On me, on me, on me, on me, on me. I'm stuck. I just got shot through the wall. 